What's up, Low Heat fam? Uh, today, just got in. This, this is some of my favorite uh, Low Heat to unbox because A, I got it pretty early, and B, it's uh, not something that will just be reviewed and unboxed into infinity. So this hopefully will be a little unique and um, provide uh, some good content for those of you who want to see what's inside the box here. So as you can see, I got this from Concepts. And um, as you know from the title, uh, this is the Asics Gel Light 3 uh, Concepts Collab, uh, the Otero. Uh, help me with the pronunciation, I probably butchered that. The Otero. And um, this is, pays homage to uh, luxury, high luxury consumer goods. And in this case, the Bluefin Tuna, or uh, Otero. And uh, yeah, so this I'm very excited to get. And I was able to cop these because uh, Concepts did something cool. They sent out like a VIP invite to purchase um, to probably people who have made purchases on their website before, I'm guessing. Um, so in the past, I was able to hit on the uh, Turduncans. Uh, check out that unboxing video if you want. And so I got a, woke up to an email Monday morning and um, said, go uh, to the website right now if you want first come first serve early access to their shoes and um, their apparel and so I jumped right away to the website and was able to snag a pair and I thought that was really cool because just today today's Friday that was Monday today they actually officially released and they're all sold out already uh, they're going a little bit above resale so I was happy to cop at retail price and I think these are so interesting and uh, cool we'll see them here in a second just want to show you the tag, the official information. These are the Gel Light 3 OGs in uh, Coral Cloud Pure Silver, size 12. I didn't, I have, this is my first pair of ASICs, also why I'm excited. So I didn't know what size to get. And in those cases, I generally go half size up just to be safe. I'm usually an 11 and a half. But yeah, so this is a, a collab between ASICs and Concepts. Concepts always does really, really great collabs. So uh, stoked. And um, let's, let's, let's take a look at these first. We'll get into the details and then we'll talk about tuna. Uh, nice, some stickers. Always cool to get bonus, bonus swag uh, with your purchase. Oh man. So I was instantly attracted to these when I saw them on Instagram. And um, man, the first reveal does not disappoint. Look at those colors. Now, I will say, depending upon the um, Instagram photo or whatever photo you look at these online, uh, they might be a little brighter in shade and color in those photos. This is definitely a more dulled and tuna fish looking color to me. Not, not that that's bad, just, um, just so you know. Some of those pictures made it look like really bright pink, and I would say this is definitely not so much, especially with the materials they use on this, the suede. So definitely more of that salmon color um, pink, or, you know, in this case, obviously tuna. And here inside, oh, immediately got to show this off. Awesome insole, bluefin tuna, stylized illustration, painting. Uh, take, take out the stuffing there. Really cool. I don't know if you can see all the way in there. Uh, that's an amazing uh, insole. I love cool insoles. People never see them, just you, but uh, I think it's always a nice touch. Um, again, no, not everyone gets to see inside, but that's so cool. And so, yeah, they, uh, I mean, shout out to uh, Dion Point, uh, the creative director at Concepts and the team and uh, Asics. These are just so sick. Let me know right away in the chat uh, if you agree on first sight. Aren't these sick? I love the colors on these. Um, and so that's what attracted to me. On top of it, it was collab. Um, on top of it, I like sushi. I can't afford much bluefin tuna, but you know. Um, so also some uh, other details wanted to point out quick. Uh, you got some 3M hints there, which if you read online and they're right up, is kind of uh, a nod to uh, the sushi knives. And uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna try these on probably in a minute here. Um, and then you have the different tones of uh, pink uh, to kind of symbolize the fatty uh, marbling of the bluefin tuna. Uh, 3M hits on the back, along the logo there, the toe box. 
here's the sole, the outsole. And then on top of it comes with a bonus set of laces, which is awesome. And this like wasabi green meant to kind of mimic the uh, wasabi with, um, that goes with sushi. Um, this is uh, just really amazing. A pro tip for all you sushi uh, novices out there, you're not supposed to douse your uh, sushi in soy sauce. So don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop sucking up the uh, soy sauce with your rice. It's supposed to just be mildly put on some sushi on the top, maybe. Um, and other sushi, you're not supposed to put anything on. And some sushi has different sauce, like ponzu sauce. So um, stop doing that, um, FYI. And then just a little bit of sabi, wasabi. So stop dousing your soy sauce in wasabi and lathering it all over the sushi because then you can't taste the fish. Um, here's the insole on this one, different insole design. That's cool. And you got the ASICs and concepts there, which will definitely rub off. These always do, uh, these light little stickers. Um, so these are just, I think, amazing. Again, shout out to Dion Point and the team. Uh, so a little bit uh, on the bluefin tuna. It's like one of the most expensive fishes in the world uh, to buy at market. Um, it is different than store-bought tuna, which you can get for cheap, because uh, uh, store-bought tuna in a can is usually albacore tuna, or in this case, skipjack tuna. And this it was from Trader Joe's, and they advertised this was uh, caught... Um, on the back, it says uh, caught sustainably, use, not using FADs. FADs are uh, fish aggregating devices. So usually skipjack tuna is caught in those fish aggregating devices. Um, kind of put a shadow in that you get excess sea animals caught in those nets, like dolphins and sharks. Um, I have not watched the doc uh, Seaspiria, but um, there's a darker look at the industry. So just, you know. Uh, while I do enjoy sushi and the finer things in life, it's always good to be conscious of what you're eating and how that was obtained. So a little PSA right there. So let's go ahead and try these on. Because I have yet to uh, own a pair of ASICs, my first pair of ASICs. These I got on right now are these uh, New Balances that I just got in. And um, these are awesome. I did an unboxing video of these. So similar vein with the soft suede, but one is obviously a brighter color. And I want to try these on with a split tongue. Asics have this, the signature, Asics gel lights have the signature split tongue. And so I want to see how, uh, how these feel. So take this moment while I'm trying these on uh, to plug the channel. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you can, if you like these unboxing videos. I love doing low heat unboxings like these where I don't think a ton of people are going to get these and I think they're fire um yet I think people will be interested in seeing them so these are my favorite type of videos so if you want to keep seeing more of these um subscribe give it a like because uh yeah they'll encourage me to keep buying and uh doing more of these got my Stussy socks on if you're wondering or Stussy I'm gonna keep saying Stussy though and uh Stussy's tie-dyed socks, which I don't know if is the wave with these this color, but um, I don't mind it. Oh man, these are comfortable. So just like uh, these New Balances I'm wearing, these New Balances 2002s, I can tell just immediately without standing up. I could have got away with true to size on these. Could have got away with 11 and a half, but I got a 12. I have a little extra room, but that's okay. These are meant to be comfortable. Laces on these aren't super long. I also have a, just a giant foot. So there they are on foot. I think these are, I think these are fire. So yeah, I think these are perfect. Um, these will go with every, a lot of things. Uh, definitely go with like nice uh, subtle colors on top. Gray, black, white um, for pants or blue jeans. And uh, I think these are uh, phenomenal for any uh, sushi fans out there. Uh, even if you're not, of course, you can get these. But I do like the homage to um, high-end sushi, high-grade tuna. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about Asics gel lights? 
what do you um, think about these specifically? You guys big sushi fans uh, out there? Has anyone actually had bluefin tuna? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear any crazy sushi stories. I think these are, um, as I've said, just sick. Absolutely sick. I really like, I like both these shoes. Maybe I'm uh, maturing in taste here, but this like soft, dull suede is just, uh, I'm really on that wave right now. I feel like with some uh, nice tech gear on top or some jeans and a vintage t-shirt, this just, you can't go wrong uh, with this. I'm really happy to add a pair of Asics uh, to my collection and I'm happy that they're a Concepts Club. And I think that was um, really cool what they did with the VIP um, early release. Um, I can't imagine people would be upset with that. I mean, that that is the best way to fight bots and uh, just the craziness on drop day. So I really appreciate them doing an early access sale and that I was able to get a pair because um, as much as I like these, I don't think I would want to pay resale. It always feels good to cop a sweet pair of shoes at retail price. And so shout out to them for doing that. I think more brands maybe should uh, follow suit and uh, um, reward uh, former customers by doing stuff like this. So anyways, uh, please subscribe and I got more videos coming very soon. All right, really quick, finished the video and then wanted to add a few things. Um, if anyone's still watching, comment that you're still watching, you caught this, made it worth it, this extra edit I'm gonna have to add and then upload. Um, a, uh, I forgot to mention that I'm definitely lacing these up. I've seen pictures with these on, uh, these green wasabi laces and look dope. Uh, so these go hard. I'm definitely lacing those up, first of all. Uh, second of all, um, uh, again, I haven't watched that documentary, Seaspiria, but uh, learned through it, through the lady, that uh, a lot of the times when they say something sustainably caught, they just pay off the regulators or lie when they're, they're both being checked when they ask, hey, so did you catch many dolphins today with the, uh, your tuna catches? Uh, they'll, they'll just say, nope. No dolphins caught, uh, so just be wary of things labeled sustainably caught. They might not be. Um, and then um, speaking, that's just another PSA. Um, speaking of the lady, she saw these and she's like, oh, I really like these. And then she noticed the split tongue. She's not super familiar with gel lights. And she's like, um, she's like, oh, that looks like a female body part. <laughs> and uh, I guess it kind of does being in this pink color. So there you go. A little uh, bonus commentary for you from uh, the uh, keen eye of uh, my girlfriend. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know if you watched this little part that I added on because I'd appreciate it.